Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the first video that I have filmed since the coronavirus or COVID-19 has kind of really taken full effect or the kind of impact is now becoming quite bad in a lot of countries. I wanted to do something a bit more positive. I've been feeling really down recently because of all this and it's definitely, even though I am very lucky at the moment to not have any family members or friends who are being directly affected by this obviously everyone is suffering the effects of um what it's kind of causing in the whole world so i wanted to do just to sit and play around with makeup i have done something that is completely out of my comfort zone today as you can probably tell i have never started a makeup like this and actually finished it i've been watching a lot of p louise's um instagram like tv tutorials recently and been picking up a lot of tricks that um been picking up some kind of tips that she's been giving out including the use of vaseline which if you watch the video you'll see how much of a difference that does actually make um they have not come out even i really like how this eye has come out and i'm not too happy with how this eye has come out but you'll see that in the video so if you want to see how i created this look i've just kind of included the eyes in this because i've just done a really kind of heavy skin um so yeah so if you want to see how i got this look then please keep watching so this is the first video that i have filmed since the coronavirus or covid19 um has really kind of the effects of it have been shown i filmed so all the videos that i've uploaded before this was before i personally or i think a lot of people really knew how bad things were going to get i never actually thought it'd get to this point but it, everything has gotten to quite a scary point not even just because of the virus itself and how it's affecting people but just in general like how it's affecting the whole world so I hope that you know everyone is obviously safe and I'm really sorry if you have been personally affected by this whether or not you've had um, a family member or a friend who has suffered from it or passed away from it. I really just want to film some makeup videos and just do something a bit more positive because especially in the last few days um, the numbers in the UK have gone up by quite a lot like the most that they've gone up by since this all started so yeah you'll have to excuse my skin my skin it looks worse on camera than it does in real life just because a lot of these red marks are where i've had like breakouts but my skin had a really bad reaction to a foundation i was using and i was literally like my skin just broke out absolutely everywhere so today's video i'm just putting on some moisturizer just so that because my skin is feeling pretty dry at the moment but i wanted to do almost a bit like a p louise kind of inspired look I've, I've been really enjoying watching um p louise's like ig um instagram tv videos and also just in general the, the looks that they've been putting out and then they've got some really really good uh products as well that they have kind of recently come out with that some of them i still want to get my hands on so i'm just going to kind of jump straight into it um, I don't know exactly the look I'm going to be going for, but I know the kind of colours and things like that that I want to use. So I'm just going to kind of wing it, which is not always the best thing. The first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of the P. Louise base. I'm going to take it out quite far because I also do want to blend it out underneath my eye as well but, and then before i apply some on my other eye i'm just going to take a morphe e28 brush and just start buffing out the edges and also just buffing some of this product under my eye just because i don't want it to set and when i put my foundation on i find that my foundation applies a lot smoother if i kind of blend the edges out. I have also put some through my brows as well just because I have been using because I have my I've had my eyebrows microbladed so I just tend to put just a little bit of shadow through depending on how bold I want my eyebrows. I've had them microbladed quite naturally so I could just leave them like this but 
I just like to put a little bit of shadow through them just to make them a bit more bolder, especially when I'm doing a more bold eye look. So I've now got a nice even layer of the base which is all blended out so I can bring my shadows out as far as I want. I'm going to use the P. Louise Secret Sinner palette. The first colour I'm going to go in with is the colour Love Shy here, which is a really deep, uh, like a really deep kind of purpley brown. So I've just zoomed you in as much as I can. I'm just going to pat to make sure that there's no creasing. And I'm going to take that Love Shy colour on my Unicorn Cosmetics brush. Now, one thing that I find when I'm doing like any kind of cut crease look is that I work on my darker colour and then I work on my blend and then I go to cut and I lose all of the depth of the dark colour because I don't bring up the dark colour high enough. So what I'm actually going to do is just kind of relax my eye and I'm going to take this colour quite high up. This is quite high up for me because I really don't want to lose. And I am barely touching my skin. This shadow is really quite pigmented. And what I want to do is I want to work on building up this colour and my shape. So I've got my shape kind of mapped out here and I just want to work on really intensifying this colour. I will go back and forth between my colours as I blend but this is what I want to do for now. So at the moment my eyes are like this which is... <laughs> Not exactly what I want them to look like, but what I'm going to really do is now focus on really, really, really blending the shape. The shape it looks really thick, but I will be cutting quite like low down underneath it. So the next colour I'm going to go in with is this orange here, which is Dreamy. And I'm going to take that on my Morphe M506 brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack some of this colour on and I'm going to go 50% onto Love Shy and 50% above it so I'm gonna go quite pretty much on the shadow and I'm just gonna start to soften that line and really start to blend the colours together. Don't worry if you lose some of the depth of Love Shy because you can go back in afterwards. Right now, I know it's looking a mess, but I'm going to trust that it's going to come out okay. So I'm just going to go back in with Love Shy and just intensify that colour. So once I've kind of blended that out with the shade Dreamy, I'm going to go in with the shade Climax, which is the yellow underneath, and I'm going to use that just to kind of blend everything out together. And I'm just taking that on a MAC 217 brush. I do feel like I have taken Love Shy a little bit too high, but... This is the first time I am kind of trying a much more dramatic look in quite some time. I'm not very happy with how this eye is coming out. I think I always tend to do better on my right eye than my left. I feel like the shape's a bit more smoother, whereas this one, for some reason, just looks a bit 
more kind of jaggedy. So I'm just going to go back in with all my colours and just re-intensify everything. So I've just spent a little bit of time playing around with my blend. I'm really not happy with how it's coming out on this eye for some reason. Um, I just feel like the placement I did with the first colour <laughs> has just thrown everything off. I'm not too bothered about how it looks underneath and I'm hoping that once I put my kind of cut in that everything will be a little bit better. Now the next thing I'm going to do is something that I haven't tried before but I'm actually going to use a little bit of Vaseline to remove the eyeshadow and start to map out the shape of my cut. I saw this being done on um, P. Louise's like Instagram TV and it seemed to do a really good job of removing the makeup. So I'm just going to take a little spatula. I don't really know how much of this I need and just take a little bit and just pop it on the back of my hand I think and just kind of warm it up with the spatula. Yeah this is supposed to kind of slide off the makeup and also just leave like a blank space so that when you then go ahead and use the base or even the paints that you've got a smooth canvas to work with. So I'm gonna put kind of quite a lot of product on my brush. This is just a flat eyeshadow brush. Um, I think this is a MAC one, but all of the numbers and things have rubbed off. So I'm gonna take, take it and just kind of start to follow the natural shape of my eye. And I think you do have to kind of keep going back in with it and keep wiping the shadow off on your hand. I feel like it's it's a lot like smoother, it's a lot easier to kind of get your uh, nice kind of smooth shape because the brush is just kind of gliding along because of the... So I took quite a bit, I'm going to take quite a bit more and just again pop that onto the back of my hand. I'm wondering if I took too much. It does, like I said, it is kind of mixing with the shadow. But this is supposed to be really good for those of you who maybe don't have the most steady hand, which is definitely me. So I'm just kind of wiping off until I feel like my brush is clean, and then going in with more Vaseline. Like that, and then what they do is they then take a wipe or a cotton bud with some kind of makeup remover, and whoa, yeah, this does work. And then the shadow just comes straight off. And you're left with a really smooth one so I might that's with the white I feel like once you kind of get close to your cut it's easier with a cotton bud just to Wow. Yeah, I feel like I already like this look a lot more now that I have sort of removed. I love that product. I think that I would have gone a little bit lower down, but once I kind of relax my eye, it doesn't look as bad, but that's probably the smoothest. I have found that I can get my line and what, what's really good about this is that you could take off like a little bit, wipe it off and then kind of keep going and keep repeating until you find that you've got this cut. So now I've got this really soft kind of cut so then when I go back in with my base I can just follow that 
well yeah I'm quite happy with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time just repeating the same on my other eye this is where I feel like I'm hoping the makeup will really kind of come together because I'm hoping that I can get like quite similar it doesn't look as dramatic either once I've got got this kind of cut going on um, I would just make sure that you go right in to that kind of inner corner as well like that and I'm just going to wipe off any base that I've got here because I will I will kind of reapply it so yeah I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye and then I'll be right back so I've got my cut as you can see it kind of curves down a lot more than it does on this side I'm really not going to worry too much about that and I don't want to spend a huge amount of time trying to fix that so you're just going to have to <laughs> ignore that um i will obviously try and match them up a bit better so let's just focus on this side because this side's coming out a lot more like i kind of planned i'm going to apply some of the base back onto my eyelid and just basically really clean up and sharpen this cut i think i'm going to use my peaches and cream pc 40 brush i think this is actually a cut crease brush um, just because it's a lot smaller. Now that I've got my line all nice and mapped out, I feel like I can follow it a lot better. And also I'm not going to get a ton of eyeshadow mixed in on this brush. So I'm just going to... So yeah, I'm just going to follow this line. And then I'll probably fill in the rest with my bigger Zoeva brush that I used to initially kind of apply the base. I feel like that's probably the smoothest I've ever managed to get a cut on my eye. Um, like I said, they're not even, but I will learn. So at this point, I'm not really sure what what I want to do. I feel like I want to do kind of a wing um, and sort of blend it out. So I'm going to actually take a little bit of microporous tape um, and just pop some on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too sticky and what I'm going to do is use this to kind of get a sharper sharper line like I said I'm not really exactly sure what I'm where I'm going with this look but just wanted to have a bit of a play you can tell even more how uneven my eyes are because this kind of matches up with that whereas that is sort of nowhere near so I think what I might do is just kind of angle this up a bit that's probably a bit better so then what I'm going to do is just pat out the base so that I've got no tackiness and I'm going to take some of Love Shy and I'm just going to start to buff that out onto my eye kind of like almost like a winged outliner and just bring it in across my lash line as well and then I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush and the colour Dreamy and I'm just going to buff that right over the top and start to blend out the colour Love Shy. I'm going to take it just a little bit more onto my eye as well. Just like that. And then I'm going to take some of Climax on my MAC 217 brush and then just buff everything out together. So almost like blend it into the crease of my eye. So the kind of lower crease of my eye. I'm going to just keep applying the um, free colours on my lid just like I did on my crease because I really 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 want that purple to be really intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of Peaches and Cream Fantasy 
pigment with some of their pigment drops on a little palette and I'm just going to use that on a this is just like a thin kind of paintbrush and I'm just going to draw a line kind of through the cup just to see just just to add a little bit of sparkle because obviously at the moment my eyes are very much matte So I'm not sure how well you can see that, I feel like you can see it a bit more up close but it's just added a bit of a subtle kind of effect to the look. You do have to be somewhat quick with these pigment drops because they do dry fairly quickly. I'm just going to pop off camera, I'm going to apply some lashes, these are the Sosu Milan lashes. I'm then going to do my face, I'm going to do my face off camera just because I feel like this video is becoming very very, very long, um, also I think I'm probably going to have a bit of a break and go and have some lunch before I kind of carry on with the look, but I'm pretty, I'm happier what is coming out with now than when I started and a lot of people say if you start your makeup and you're not liking how it turns out just keep going with it. Um, and I definitely agree that it is it is coming out a lot better than what I would have thought it would have come out. It's definitely not perfect, but I think I've learned a couple of things from it, like not to take the darker colour so high up. Um, I just feel like I've got, like if I shut my eyes, I've got so much lid space. But maybe once I've got my lashes on and I've got the rest of my face on, it might look just a little bit better. So I'm gonna go have some lunch, put some lashes on, put my face on, and then I'll be back to finish off underneath my eyes. So I've applied my, just my foundation for now and a little bit of the base underneath my eye. I have gone for a more of a heavier skin. I just used some of my Maybelline Super Stays 24 hour. This is a little bit too dark for me, so I have had to drag it down my neck quite a lot. But to be honest, I think that this makeup's not gonna be on all day anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a little bit of my Urban Decay Alkaline Eye Pencil and I've just smudged a little bit of that onto my lower lash line as well. So I haven't set the base under my eye um, just because I wanted to kind of connect everything together. So I'm going to take this sort of flat almost it's always like a squashed pencil brush this is the peaches and cream pc31 and i'm going to take some of love shy and start to buff that in because i want to connect this to my kind of the winged out effect that i was doing on my eye so i'm going to buff that in quite a lot under my eye and just sort of connect it to my upper lid as well if you want it to be quite a harsh line like it is now i would just leave it but i do want to kind of begin to soften it just a little bit and then i'm going to take this is a my kit co 1.20 brush and i'm going to take some of dreamy and start to buff it in i'm basically just going in with the same blends that i did on my upper lash line and I'm not too worried about the top bit being sharp but it's just the bit here where my lower lash line meets my upper lash line I want to kind of buff that in just a little bit and then the last thing I'm going to do is take my my Kitco 1.14 brush and a bit of dreamy this brush is so soft and fluffy it's the perfect brush to put under your eye because it doesn't irritate your eyes in any way just like that and it just kind of ties the whole look in together i'm going to finish off the rest of my face do something to my eyebrows and then i'll be right back so this is the makeup all finished it's definitely probably one of the most dramatic looks that not only ha have i done but that i've actually finished the amount of times I've tried to do something that's a little bit more kind of out of my comfort zone and then I kind of chicken out halfway. Um, 
I do really, really, really like how it's come out. I just wish my eyes matched. The cut on either eye is completely different. I think that this eye has come out a lot more smooth and a lot more rounded. I just think I didn't bring down the purple far enough to flick it out on this eye. Also, my foundation doesn't match, but there you go. Um, I feel like I'd, I feel already a lot more confident. The use of Vaseline to cut my crease is something that I think no matter what kind of cut crease I'm doing, um, no matter what kind of cut crease that I'm going to do, I will always use this. I think that it's really opened up my eyes as well. I feel like my eyes look absolutely massive, which is something that I've got really quite small eyes. Um, so that's something that I really like. So yeah, not every look that you do is going to come out perfect, but today was a really good opportunity because I'm not really doing anything. I'm just going to be doing some housework. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I also really hope that everyone is doing as well as they can when there is something as horrible as what's happening now happening. Um, and I hope that in very, very near future, things can kind of slowly go back to normal. And really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.